Pure, 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 pure fiber. Pure fiber. How you doing? This guy's cheating. How you doing? How He's cheating. They cheating. They, they both this? cheating. They both cheating. I was like this the whole time. They're lying. Fiber. Oh man, welcome, welcome back. Live and ready to get back to it. It's been some time and I do apologize for the wait. But I really wanted to uh, give you the, the most information, the latest and the greatest. December was great, but school was out. Uh, there was holidays, of course, so wasn't really that much information to relay. And so I figured I would just merge December and January together. And with that being said, let's get into it. So sadly, cross country ended and we ended it with a bang. We had a phenomenal cross country banquet, got to see some of the students families and just see the coaches one last time before we actually kind of went our own ways. Actually, you should check this picture out. Adorable. So with cross country ending, it left me with the question of what to do next. And I can remember in the last update, I mentioned something towards conditioning basketball. And it was just one of those experiences that just reaffirmed me being there. And so planned on coaching or conditioning basketball and it did not go that way. Talked to the coach a couple of times, didn't really know him. Um, we kind of talked about some days or the, like days I would be actually able to condition. Everything seemed well. Came back from fall weekend, had an awesome weekend and kind of met up with the coach. And overall, he just said like, hey, you know, we no longer need help with conditioning. And I don't know the guy. He's been there for 20 plus years and so didn't think too much of it was a little bit discouraged then i remember talking to a good man his name is bill crawl just a, a amazing guy always encourages me he's a go-getter and just a great family man and he had a, a a meeting with a very important person and the important person said this to him uh he, his his company wants to invest in this community and so the person this very important person asked him a very simple question and he said, how are you going to invest in my community? And I think the, I guess the, the long and short of it is there's a hundred or even thousands of people that come in here and they say the same thing of how they're going to invest and really build up a community. And so it was really encouraging because I can kind of compare that or look at that situation and, and use that with the coach that I, I met up with. He's been there for 20 years and I can only imagine how many people have come to him and say, hey, we want to support and like love on your kids and be there for them. And two, three months later, they're out of the door. And so I knew that I have to have tough skin, but also just remain consistent and faithful. And I remember getting my car a little discouraged and thinking, man, like, how am I going to really be involved with these kids? How, what are other ways that I can do contact work outside of going to games and all? And while driving away, my cross country coach called me and says like, hey, you know, I saw that you came to lunch today to help out with recruiting for recruiting for for track. And I, it just hit me that I didn't realize that you would still be around. I thought that you were only around for a season. And I just wanted to know if you would be interested in doing winter condition, winter conditioning for track. And it just blew my mind. It was like something that I'm already passionate about. I already had some type of relationship with some of the runners that will be transitioning from cross country into track. So it was just awesome. And this really reaffirmed in me that I'm here. And no, no matter what um, little situation that comes my way it, it, or door closes does not mean that I'm completely closed out. And so that was, that was awesome and really encouraging. As you notice in the video, the first video was about five or six minutes ago. I was running with some guys. Uh, Isaiah, you've probably seen in some updates in the past. And I've been getting to know him a lot more. That's one of my guys. And also Mason, who I just recently met through track. But I, I saw him in a couple of plays. So it's been great getting to connect with him. But also uh, just a whole new wave of students through track. And being able to come to the early dismissals has been great. Just been seeing kids that are perhaps not athletic or around the same crew of people that I usually see. So it's been great getting to kind of familiarize myself with those students. Uh, another way is uh, lunch. I've been able to actually get in there. Uh, I can do that now Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And the story behind that is, is really cool. I met the principal months ago and I emailed him kind of my 
availability and didn't really get anything back. I know he's a busy guy, so I didn't think too much of it. And the first week of January, I emailed him back and just kind of follow up to do a follow up. And he emailed me back that I could come any day I wanted to. And I really feel like that that actually occurred because he would see me at practices, just being consistent, um, really responding well and getting to know the students. And so it's been great now I see him in the hallways and you know he'll say hi to me, I say hi to him. And really, you know, what my intentions were back in August are now starting to really uh, come to life. And I'm just excited and I just, it just kind of really revs me up to even get out there even more and just just be excited about going to that school and, and getting to know those students. Staff training, these are my people. Say hi, peoples. Hey. Oh, they're beautiful. We're going to have to have a fantastic week Woo. out here in the Florida, holding it down. Are you vlogging? Yeah. What is happening right Straight now? Straight up. First, January 4th to January 12th. Here we go. That's right. I made it to Florida with my squad from Pittsburgh. Uh, we went to new staff training down in um, Florida and you know it's a tough life but someone has to live it and so we went down there and we were able to really be equipped more we had different professors from universities and colleges all over the United States come in and they taught classes and you know we we, we learned more about inclusivity and diversity um, how to interpret the Bible um, you know how we how to have partnership with with Catholic uh, believers and it was just a wonderful experience I mean it really opened my eye to you know things that I already feel confident in but also just opened my eye to how to approach new things uh, overall like the partnership with with Catholic believers you know that was something that I never it never really dawned on me but just how important it is I'm gonna meet uh, kids that are Catholic I'm gonna meet girls that are Catholic and just to have that partnership with with priests and just overall how to how to present myself and how to approach it in, in a respectful way um, really just kind of took it to another level for me and, and really to be honest I can tell you but I can actually it's probably better to show you with my guys right now biker boying it out my man John Bailey and Caleb in the back looking good looking good new staff training is getting better each day sitting here first Beach run of the week. Here with my man Caleb. How you pee? What's up? Holding it down. Got Miss Jennifer. Hello. From Rutgers. And my man Matt from Rutgers. What's up? It's a beautiful day. We're about to get to it. He got some classes to get to. Um, new staff training has been amazing thus far. All right, I'm gonna get back to it, but I'm gonna leave you with this view. Just take it in. A wonderful time down there I got to meet some great people of course as you saw in those videos we had a lot of fun and I'm I mean it's I'm present day I'm still messaging and, and texting and uh, keeping up with some of the people that I met down there and I could see those relationships lasting um, or being lifelong friends so I'm excited to just see like where where that goes uh, some people it might just be a season but it's been great just connecting with people and just um, really really being built up and encouraged that you know i'm not alone no matter what i mean i have an awesome team here in pittsburgh but then to see people that are serving in south dakota and in green bay where it's negative 45 degrees at points uh colder than antarctica and they're so loving and so uh encouraged by what god's doing in their life and it then encourages me to want to get out there more and and really remember and recall and be devoted to what God has for me not necessarily that particular time or situation or season in life but to be devoted and committed to what God has for me and believing in that so it was just, it was just great overall I had a great time and it definitely uh, allowed me to kind of set things in motion as I was even on the flight back from Florida to Pennsylvania Upon returning from new staff training, leadership committee weekend awaited us, and it was a great time. We went to Altoona, PA. Um, I don't know who necessarily goes there, but we do, and we had a great time. It was an opportunity for uh, any leaders, whether you're in Young Life or Young Life College, 
uh, if you are, are a professional, a volunteer leader, there's a great time to come together with committee or people that are thinking about being on a committee. And yeah, just kind of get some, some trainings on how to kind of take it to the next level. Uh, it also was my first time doing programs, take a gander. In a peace sign, that's a true 90s job. And, and 10 years later, 10 years later, Nicholas Pickles, guys. <laughs> I figured I'd spare you the pain of watching a 10 minute video on programs that you probably don't really want to watch. But I just wanted to kind of give you the idea that I did programs. Uh, the team that I was with supported me and uh, allowed me to look funny. So that was great. And yeah, maybe there's a future in it for me in the long haul. Probably not, but I got to do it and I could check that off my list. <laughs> Okay, back to real life stuff. Uh, Young Life College has been going absolutely amazing. We um, just sat down as a team, first year fellowship team, sat down and we confirmed and have placed uh, all those students that were have been coming to first year since August are now at a point where they are ready to lead and they are we're going to be putting them in high schools and middle schools and also uh, they'll be serving uh, um, students that have special needs and I am just so so encouraged by um, just the love and and the growth that I've seen in all these students so yeah we're at this point and I'm not gonna give too much detail on it because by the time you see the next update there will be actual substance there'll be some videos there'll be some some actual personalities that you'll be able to actually see uh, right here on this update. So I, I'm just wanted to kind of give you that update of we play students and we are excited to see what God has for them next. Outside of placements, we still are in reoccurring small group, you know, on a weekly basis. And so that's been great. I've been mean, seeing like the fruit come from that. Um, it's been great to, you know, take it from just on a Wednesday basis to, you know, meeting up, catching lunch with some of the guys on, on days that they have free time them coming over to the house, be breaking bread together, and just really talking about life. And that's the culture that, you know, myself and AJ, who's the other leader or co-leader, um, that's all we wanted. We just want those guys to feel supported and really feel um, just how, you know, how faithful we are to, and how serious we are to small groups and how important they are. You know, overall, you, like I said, you kind of get in that rut of life and, you know, just to have that there where you feel supported, you feel, like even if you don't have all the answers, you have people around you that will just lift that up in prayer and just hold you accountable to things. And it's very rare that you see that in a community, especially as a guy or as a man. So I'm just loving that. I'm loving that season of life. And I'm excited to just kind of see what, what the next chapter is for those young, young gents uh, that are at Pitt. As for the students at Taylor Olderdice, uh, I am, that is a prayer of mine to Kind of create the culture that you know we created at Pitt. Um, we want to do that in the same way there. You know, we want the students coming over to the house, and you know, over I've been able to meet up with some of the students in the morning time and start kind of getting that one-on-one -on -one, uh, discipleship, or just just overall loving on them, allowing them to know it's so much more than than track or going to a lunch or taking them out to lunch. But that you know, not only am I here, but as my leaders come in, um, that they're there to support them and to love them exactly where they're at. So that's been exciting, but as I give you these updates, I, I hope that you're writing down these prayer requests because I, I need your prayers. Um, I actually, I feel like I've received a, a ton of them already, so continue to pray for me as I pray for others. And yeah, just keep moving, keep moving in the direction, keep going onward and jostling through those hard times that come up sometimes, sometimes. but as we reflect back on our past or on uh, past experiences, you get to see the beauty of how God really was just drawing you closer to him. So that's really been uh, just a, a plus for me and just being able to like reflect back, I mean, not even six months ago and just seeing where I'm at right now. And I can only say that because, um, because of the beauty and the hand of God and also the community that he has uh, set upon me has been out of the <laughs>
thank you guys so much for watching this long video. I know it was long, but I really want you guys to, I just want you guys to capture what I get to do on a daily basis. From when I wake up in the morning, the excitement that awaits me. Um, I thank you guys for your support. I thank you guys for your prayers. I want to thank Amy. Uh, if she makes it to the end of this video, thank you for supporting me and for loving me exactly where I'm at and for not choking me out when I say something stupid because I am famous for doing that. Uh, but thank you seriously. And for everyone else, um, th those who are watching this video in different parts of the world, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Um, if, you, if you never heard this, hear from me. I love you guys. You are valued. You are cared for. And you are, you are designed to do great things. All right, with that being said, I'm out. I ex I'm excited to, to see you guys or to give you the, this update uh, next month. So stay tuned. And that's just, there's a lot of work to, to be had, to be done. All right, I'm out. Peace.